So I'm speaking to Monde Zondeki, former uh, South African cricketer, and he came on my speaking course. So Monde, I want to ask you, that's a little bit of background for the listeners, and I want to ask you, so why did you come on the course and what did you get out of the course? I'm also aware that this is a bit informal because I haven't actually had any feedback from you on the course. So you might say, oh, it was an absolute disaster or something of that nature. I don't know. So, so why did you come on the course and what did you get out of it? Well, one, to get on the course, um, I think the theme around the course was get my mojo back or get your mojo back as a human being. Um, one, I wanted not to be more confident. I guess I've, I've always been okay with that part. I, I just, how to use that in terms of how to interact and be able to connect with people. Um, and also, to be quite honest, it, it helps with my job um, as a commentator who does cricket or super sport. It helps to be able to be good public speaking wise or better public speaking wise to get better. Um, but in general, to be able to connect with people without having to worry about the outcome and just really live in the moment. I guess it means. Great. And, and so uh, uh, thank you for that. And tell me like what, so that was what, why you wanted to do it. And what, what results did you get? I, I was particularly struck by that little uh, funny little speech that you did with that guy on Zambia. That was quite interesting to me. That's, uh, that's stuck in my memory. Yeah, well, that was easy because he was from Zambia. It would have been harder to tell a story if he wasn't. Um, but what I got from it is, is that it was so funny because I, I thought a lot about that, um, about the people that were around who were willing to open up and talk about their deepest pain um, and to do it to strangers. I mean, I wasn't there on the second day for the rest of the day, but um, I know we're going to talk again with, with them in, as a group. But what struck me was how much people have in common. It doesn't have to be as deep as other people's pain or whatever they went through, but but I think we said this um, in general that a lot of people have so much in common, but we allow whether that's race or it's gender, or whatever it is, to stop us from interacting with each other. And it was very nice to be with a bunch of strangers and be able to talk about things that you normally wouldn't talk about with, with the average person, even someone in your own family, as I said before. Um, so yeah, it's it's a lot easier. Well, I don't, I'm not going to say it's a lot easier now, but I think it's it's easier for me to think about talking about those sort of things, um, whatever it is that I'm going through, whether it's good or bad. Um, and it goes both ways because you can always talk about the good things in your life too, with strangers. Or with people that you generally don't tell. Um, but I think it, what I've got out of it is that I, I can, I know that I can um, open up to people a lot easier um, than I've, I've done in the past. Great stuff. Good, man. I'm listening to Imagining I was hearing about this for the first time. And what I'm hearing is, is commonalities across the, across the board uh, and opening up and that we all have relevant stories and, and we're so much, so much the same. You know, that's what I, that's yeah. what I get. Yeah. I mean, yeah, depth wise, yeah, obviously people go through different things in terms of how deep they're, they're good or they're bad is, but in general, I think we have a lot more in common than we do apart. Um, I'm sorry. I feel like we live in a world where um, we think we're so different, but we're not. 